Ye are forgers of lies. <laughs> ye are all physicians of no value. <laughs> and that's the, that's you so-called white people. And then um, Jake too. and and Jake. Yep. Yeah, because polite. Hey, polite. I got a video on polite. Hey, polite. You you ain't looking too good now these days, man. You know. <laughs> I got a video of polite that he actually is teaching that. You know how you hang out with somebody and you go to clubs and you drink and you do this and do that and all of a sudden you get with the guy and he said, I don't want to go to the club no more. I don't, I don't do that. I don't drink no more. He said that that means you were abducted into a ship and the angels reprogrammed you. Now, Polite said that he was abducted into a ship and the angels reprogrammed him and when we came back down, he was able to speak seven languages. All right? Now, I can show the video. Oh, I don't have to show the video. But if anybody's saying that I'm lying, as soon as you come up, pop up and say it, I got I got the video. Okay? <laughs> yeah, Check out the video. Yeah, well, well, in that case, Polite, you're a forger of lies. <laughs> and then you're a physician of no value. Well, his master teacher, and he got mad at the debate. By the way, you got you got Trounced. You, you got, got creamed, is that a man. word? You got you got stomped, man. Got creamed. By the you got served by the by the brother of the, the ISUP Tozaya. Uh now he's a general. They you know he got raised up. He was a priest. Now he's a general. General Tozaya, whatever his name is. But anyway, he um he 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 stomped you, man. He he completely destroyed you, man. Yeah. He got you, man. You you guys coming up with that black consciousness bullshit, man. You should have never messed with the Israelites, man. <laughs> you know? Hey, because guess what? We're not we're not uh uh buddies with them guys, but guess what? They're Israelites. Yep. So who you think we're gonna root for? <laughs> we're gonna root for them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Even though we don't see the eye to eye, they're that's still right. Israelites, man. That's right. Now this guy that's taking on uh a Sarah Sue and Betty, we're rooting for him. Because right. he's a, he knows he's an Israelite, man. That's right. You know? Yeah, Israel is coming up, man. Coming that up, black man. conscience shit died with the 70s, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the, the black conscience should have went out with bell bottoms, Yeah, man. with bell bottoms. And, and darshikis, man. Platform shoes. That shit comes up every 30 years, man. <laughs> yeah, big yeah, my mom was, was all into that shit. Yeah, wearing yeah, the yeah. darshikis and shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you were wearing a three-piece suit and looking like a white woman and shit. Yeah. And when I was a kid... My, my my parents, man, they had the the the, the dark sheikis and the black fists yeah. and the big afros and shit, man. Yeah, you know. Well, they and then when the shit plays yeah. out, you go right back to being a black white white person. Yeah. Cut. And just like Cut. uh, uh what's it what's the gadite in the movies? They call him the black white man. Dan George. Right, right. right. In, the, in the movie, George. in um, Little, Big, Little Man. Big Man. The white black man. He said he called him the white black man. Now, you know what he meant by that? When he said that in the movie, I picked up on it. He said, basically, he said, black people, but they're really white because they think and act like white people. That's right. So what do you call him? The black white? The, the white, black white man. The black white man. Because yeah, the they're black man. on the outside and white on the inside. Yeah. They think and act like white people. Yeah, that's right. In the movie, The Inkwell. B pretty much, they showed you that that black conscious sh shit. There was a you're right, you're right. yeah, there was a dialogue between uh, what was it, Glenn Turnman yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I forgot the other guy. Yeah, yeah. If we find the clip, we'll yeah, he's that nigga. <laughs> and if we find the clip, we'll 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 put it in. But they had that dialogue, and basically he was he was cutting him about that African shit. You know, the guy had the dashiki. And that's one thing about you niggas. You wear the dashiki and all that bullshit. Why don't you take your ass back to Africa, man? If you're well, so hardcore. That's a big question. Yeah. Why don't you take your ass back? If you're really so into being an African, why don't you take your ass back to Africa? Oh, yep. and um, I was watching Richard Pryor on this documentary, and one of them uh, shows he did, he had went to Africa. Because I think, I don't know if he got burnt up or his his career was kind of... Uh, right, you're right. You're right on that. Yeah, but that anyway, that some producer, somebody told him to go take a trip back to Africa to so to, to so called get in touch with their with his roots. Right, the now the motherland. Now when he went out there, he said some demon was talking to him, man. Wow. And he called it his conscious. He said, "Look at all these people out here." I said, "Yeah, I see him." And the, and the demon said, "Do you see any niggas?" He said, "No." He didn't even know what the hell he was saying. Right. He said, you know, I, he, and the demon said, which is his conscious, the demon said, uh, 
you know why you don't see no niggas? Because they ain't, they ain't nothing out here, man. Yeah. So he was telling them in a roundabout way that these Hamites, these Hamites are not your people. Like they made a big deal with this guy, Nelson Mandela, right? Now I'm looking, I'm putting, uh, if you go to YouTube and you put in, you don't got to go to it. If you put in Nelson Mandela dancing, that ain't no Jake, man. That's some weird looking cracker with dark skin, man. That dude had one step, man. And then if you go to a note on uh, this guy, uh, Barack Obama, you put it, put him in there dancing. Put his put his wife in there dancing. She danced like the nigga woman. Put him in there dancing. I don't know what kind of fucking dance uh, 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 Barack Obama was doing, man. But Jake can't see that, man. Jake can't see that. You know? Anyway, we're going to get to that clip in about another second, all right? Oh, I, had, um, I wanted to say something concerning jo- uh, Job 13 and 4. I looked up that word, um, forges. In the Hebrew word, there's uh, tapal. And it says, um, it says to smear, plaster over, mm. stick, glue. Now, what caught, caught my eye is that plaster over. Wow. Wow. That says a lot. That speaks volumes because... That's what that that's what iconoclasm was all about. But now, if you notice, all these black consciousness guys—they're not trying to get to the masses of black people. They're not going to black churches and all that. Their their target is on Hebrew Israelites. Why is that? Because that's the strongest foundation of all so-called religions. So they figure, let's go to the very core. Let's go to the base. Let's go to the root. And you know what? You coming up against us, and you walk, you walking back with your tail between your legs. Yeah, that's right. You know, and we're gonna have, we're gonna do, we're gonna do more shows on this black consciousness movement. You know, uh, this is uh, Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked; he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay, so with that, we're gonna do this clip. So. Just bring it, bring it on, bring it on in. Yeah, bring it, bring it back, bring it back. I'm just gonna bring it back. Okay, bring it in now. See if this is gonna come up. All right, there you go, there you go. Kelly stepped into something of a holiday hornet's nest after insisting the two were just that, white men. Kelly was reacting to a piece in Slate.com by Aisha Harris, who made the case that Santa should not be a white man anymore. Writing from here on out, Santa Claus should be a penguin. That's right, a penguin. Why, you ask? For one thing, making Santa Claus an animal rather than an old white male could spare millions of non-white kids the insecurity and shame that I remember from childhood, unquote. Here's Kelly's response. When I saw this headline, I kind of laughed, and I said, this is so ridiculous. Yet another person claiming it's racist to have a white Santa. You know, and by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. But this person is just arguing that that maybe we should we should also have a black Santa. Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change. You know, I mean, Jesus was a white man, too. But, you you know, it's like we have he was a historical figure. I mean, that's a verifiable fact, as is Santa. I just want right. the kids watching to know that. But now this is a lawyer. This dick's head is a lawyer, man. This is an educated woman, man. Now she said she said that she brought up the race the race card, but then she made a race.